I have a lot of people asking me about making these little rigs. Now, by necessity and the way I design them, there's a lot of plastic parts on these, a lot of printed parts. But you don't necessarily need to do that. All you need is a hobby grade RC because, you know, durability. And then a bin. Put some holes in it so it lines up with the body post that you see on the RC. And then take the little body post clips. Now these may become an issue if you're out there, you know, picking up stuff. You don't want to risk pulling those out, but they should be pretty steady. And then you have a basic litter buggy. Now, the only downside of this is that whenever you go to empty it, you have to pick up the whole rig to empty it. But the thing only weighs like five or six pounds, so it's really not that big of a, big of a problem. I can easily pick this up and dump it out. But all you need is a hobby RC. You can buy them used on eBay, or maybe you have a little brother, sister, nephew, or uncle or something who has one he's not using. That's a uh, super cheap litter buggy, I guess. I don't know. So, one thing to think about, guys, is if you're going to be picking up on the beach, you don't necessarily want to do this. There's a reason that those things are modified the way they are. Sand will get in the motor, and it will cause other issues. Now, if you're using these in a park or in the country or, hell, down a dirt road, this is actually probably a pretty good way to do this. Just a thought.